What are you doing? Well, I need to drill a hole in this dowel so I can put this bolt in it. Yeah. Cool. What are you going to use to drill it? I think we'll use the drill press. Hey, that's a good idea. Wait, shouldn't we have some type of safety equipment or something? We should. We should have PPE. Oh, or personal protective equipment before we start. Oh, okay. Like, like these glasses here? Yes. Okay. Safety glasses are very good to use. So awesome. Don't get anything in our eye. It's a great plan. I'm going to grab some gloves too. Wait, you shouldn't use gloves with the drill press because your hands can get caught in the machinery. Oh, that's a good point, Griff. Yeah. And you should also roll up your sleeves. Oh, because that's those could get caught as well. That's a good point. Yeah. I should probably tie my hair back too. Just kidding. Oh. I don't have long hair. But I if you do have long hair, you should probably tie it back. You should. It's a good idea. Awesome. Well, let's see how this thing works. All right. All right, Mike, let's drill this thing. Okay. Well, gee, this is a mess, Griff. We probably shouldn't work with a messy work. We've got all kinds of stuff laying all over the place. Let's just have to clean this out of the way. All right, so it looks like we got this thing cleaned up here. Uh, yeah. Why don't you show me how this thing works? Okay. Let's do that. So in the drill press, we have the handle that raises and lowers the chuck when we're drilling. We have the on and off switch. We have the keyless chuck. We have the vise for fixturing our workpiece. The handle on the back here, if you loosen it, raises and lowers the cable. So to put the drill bit into the keyless chuck, we want to place one hand at the top of the chuck and spin the chuck until the teeth release enough to fit the drill bit into the chuck. And then we spin it the opposite direction and tighten it up. All right, Mike, well, it looks like you got the bit in there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna drill this thing, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, Griff. What? We need to make sure that we clamp our whatever we're drilling down to the table very well. Uh, okay. We can't, I can't just hold it like this? No, because bad things can happen. Like what? So I've marked my piece where I want to drill my hole, and now we're going to put it into the vise. And make sure that it's secure. We also can move the vise and then tighten down the bolts on the vise. So that it puts the bit just above the piece that we're gonna drill. And now we're ready to drill. So now that we've got our piece fixtured and ready to drill, we can go ahead and turn the drill press on. And when we go to drill, we want to make sure that we don't force the bit, because forcing the bit could cause it to shatter. We just want to turn the handle and apply nice, even pressure. Once we've drilled to the depth that we want, we raise the handle, shut the drill off, wait till the chuck stops spinning, and then we can go ahead and remove our work piece, remove our work, and get on with our project. All right, that looks great. Yep, we've got our holes, and now we can put our bolt in it and continue on with our project. Awesome. You know what, this thing's kind of a mess. Do you think we should clean it up? Probably should, so we don't leave it for the next guy, because a clean workplace is a happy workplace. That's a good point. It looks like we got an awesome part here, and um, our workstation looks great here. Yes, it looks awesome. really good. Awesome. Well, that looks great, and the most important part is we did it safely. We did. Nobody got hurt. That's right. Remember, safety only works if you do it before you get hurt.